I'm Hard Truths, and if you like this video, share it, because I'm going to blow away flat earth theory with a piece of paper. Here, you see a piece of paper, and I'm representing the north or the top of the paper with a circle with a west to east facing arrow. And that arrow is going around the circle counterclockwise or to the right of the page. On the back side of the page, the bottom of the page, I've written south or bottom. And here you can see the same circle inked through the paper with the arrow going the opposite direction. It's going clockwise. It's going to the left, facing the same direction, going a different way. Well, this describes a physical property that we see on Earth. We can see it from the equator. We can see it respectively on each of the poles. And what it is, it's just a physical property. It's a mechanical property of rotation. So to represent it, I've drawn clocks, 12 through six, 12 through six, the opposite direction. And you're looking east in this example. If you were at the equator, you would see this exact thing. You're looking east and to your left-hand side is the North Pole and to the right-hand side is the South Pole. And what you would see are the stars rising up from the east and going around their respective poles. And what direction are they going to? In this case, they're going to the left. They're going counterclockwise, 12 to 11 to 10, around the North Pole to the left. And on this case, on your right-hand side, they're going to the right. They're up and they're curving to the right, around the pole. 12, 1, 2, 3, so on, clockwise, around the pole. This is a physical property you can see right from the equator, or you can just face east in the North Pole, or in, to the North uh, Hemisphere, and you'd see this exact thing to your left, and you face east to the southern, in the Southern Hemisphere, and you see the exact thing to the right. So let's get to the really crazy stuff here. This is, this is flat Earth theory, that the Earth is a circle defined by the center, which is the North Pole. And Antarctica is somehow this wall, around the freaking planet. Well, in your own theory, you should be able to travel around this Antarctica, circumnavigate it. Well, if you want to do that and you want to keep Antarctica on the right-hand side, you must curve to the left. Because if you don't, if you go in a straight line somewhere, if you find some distant target and go for that, you'll bump into Antarctica. So you must curve to the left. So you can prove your own theory. Go to the Antarctica, circumnavigate it. With Antarctica on the right-hand side, what direction did you have to turn? Well, on the actual planet Earth, we have to turn to the right. We have to curve to the right. And here you can see why. Because it's actually a circle defined by a different pole. And you're not on the inside of a circle. You're on the outside of a circle. Because you're on the bottom of a piece of paper or a ball. And here you can clearly see it. Because it's obvious. Right hand must curve to the right. If you want to keep Antarctica on your right side, you must curve to the right, clockwise. Going in straight line, you go away from Antarctica. Exactly what we expect and exactly what happens. Go do this yourself. I suggest you get a really awesome cruise to Antarctica and just hang out there. Check out the stars, face the east, see which way they go. So you can see the physical property of rotation around a pole. And then ask yourself how if you're in the inside of a circle, if you're on the inside of a circle, how do you have two poles? Rotating in opposite directions. How is that even possible? It's not possible. If you like this, share it. Blow away this theory.